Hello, this is Matt Rogers from Salisbury Elementary School. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about how you can take a logo that you love and 3D print it. Um, the main thing you have to know is uh, converting image files into files that can be read by the 3D printer. What we're going to talk today mostly about is PNG files, transitioning a PNG file, which is a traditional picture file, into an SVG file, and then eventually into an STL file, so that the 3D printing uh, mechanism and, and computer can read everything it needs to. So when I go to Google and I find an icon I like, uh, one of the things I love to do is pole vault. So I found this really cool uh, PNG file. And so I saved it. You can see it's saved on my desktop right there. But save the file as a PNG to your computer or even as a link. And you can go to one of the many different converters uh, for PNG to ST, excuse me, SVG. Um, in this case, I just used this one. Uh, Convertido. Um, and so once you've converted it from a PNG into the STL file, excuse me, the SVG file, then you can go into Tinkercad. And when you're in Tinkercad, you can import it, import the specific file. And as you can see, this file happens to be a little bit large. I can make the adjustments in Tinkercad or do it a little bit later in um, uh, Cura. So once I'm done with that, I go into design, download for 3D printing. Once I download it as an STL file, I can then click and drag and bring it over to my workspace in Cura. Once it's in Cura, I'll zoom out a little bit, I might have to make an adjustment of size like I mentioned earlier. So let's try 0.9. Since it's yellow, it means we're good to go it would take me about 52 minutes to print this job. So um, there are lots of awesome logos, items, pictures that are uh, PNG files that you can print directly in exactly how it is. So I thought this is pretty helpful and hopefully you do too.